After watching this clip, you should be able to create a table to compare RNA and DNA. So, just like DNA, RNA is composed of nucleotides with the pentose sugar, phosphate group and organic nitrogenous base. However, in RNA, the pentose sugar is ribose. And in addition to the nitrogenous bases adenine, cytosine and guanine, RNA can have the nitrogenous base uracil, which is in place of thiamine. RNA is typically a short polynucleotide which is single-stranded. So, let's summarise. RNA contains the pentose sugar ribose, RNA can have the nitrogenous bases adenine, guanine, cytosine or uracil. The base pairing rules for RNA are the same as with DNA. However, since uracil is in place of thiamine, uracil will always pair with adenine. RNA nucleotides form a single polynucleotide strand, unlike the double helix of DNA. And RNA polynucleotide strands are typically much shorter than DNA polynucleotides. Now, uh, we must also be able to compare and contrast DNA and RNA and here is a table which has RNA in one column and DNA in the other and this is typically what you would find in an exam style question looking at this kind of thing. So we know that the pentose sugar of RNA is ribose whereas the pentose sugar in DNA is deoxyribose. The nitrogenous base is found in RNA, adenine, uracil, cytosine and guanine and those found in DNA are adenine thiamine, cytosine and guanine. The size of these molecules, RNA remember, is relatively short in comparison to DNA which is long. And the shape of these, well RNA remember is a single stranded polynucleotide chain whereas DNA is double stranded polynucleotide chains twisted into the double helix. Remember the polynucleotide chains are held together by weak hydrogen bonding between specific base pairs. And the types of these molecules, well, we know that RNA exists in three forms, messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA, whereas DNA is just DNA.